Hey YouTube, it's Washer Crack here. Uh, this is gonna be my first GIMP tutorial, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a desktop wallpaper that looks a lot like this one, um, the swirl and the curved text over here. I think it looks pretty good, and it's very easy to make. So yours will look different than mine because it gives you a different render each time. But yeah, let's get started with this. Um, here's my GIMP, I have it open, and you want to go to File and create a new image, My, uh, uh, do it to your desktop re resolution, um, mine is 1280 by 800, and I'll press OK, uh, your desktop resolution may be different than mine, maybe 1600 by 1200, uh, whatever, yours is, just make it that size, so fill in your background with black, and then you want to go to filters, render, nature, flame, and you want to go to edit, variation, swirl, it'll be set on the same, I think, but you want to go to swirl, uh, hold on, gave me some pretty bad ones there, uh, you want to select one with a lot of rings around it. Those are generally the best. Um, this one looks good. It's not got that many rings, but it'll work. Um, but yeah, so there's your spiral. Okay, so once you've merged all your visible layers and you have your spiral, you want to go to colors, colorize, and play around with this. It'll give you a, uh, a uh, preview so you can tell what it looks like. Uh, the one I made had like a teal color. This one I'll go for a uh, red. That one looks okay. So I'll press OK on that. And so yeah, that looks cool. And then you want to go to filters. Oh, uh, not render. Sorry. Light and shadow. And supernova, and you choose where you want the supernova to be at, or where you want it located, and uh, try to pick the center, your main focal point, your co your color uh, of the supernova. I'm just gonna make mine reddish, or yeah, it's gonna be red, I think. Let me see how that one looks. It'll take a little while, and then it'll pop up on your screen. I think that looks good enough, uh, especially for demonstration purposes. And yeah, that's good. So you want to go to you want to go to new layer. You want to create a new layer in your layers dialog, and then new layer. On your new layer, you want to go to your paths tool, and it really helps if you have this paths dialog. To add that, you want to go to that little arrow, add tab, and then choose paths. Same way you would add layers. So yeah, there you go. How you add paths, and you just want to create a path for your text to go on. Okay, so now that you've got your paths tool. You want to make a path somewhere on the outside of your squirrel. I'll make mine from here to maybe here to about here. It doesn't matter too much if your path's long. Just don't make it short or else it just does not look good at all. Um, and you have to play around with these guys. Um, that looks okay and then you want to go to your path dialog and you want to make click the little button so the eye shows up so it's visible and then you want to go to text and then you want to type in whatever you want I'll type in GIMP 2.6 um, I'll make that way bigger though
hold on, okay. And then you want to go to text down here and then click text along path. So now you can see that your text is along your path and you want to go to layers and delete the layer that it made for you, uh, that, that automatically made for you. And now go back to your layers dialog and you don't want this line right here running through the middle of your text so you want to make the line invisible and just make the text visible and then you can go um, yeah sorry make text visible this uh, paths dialog and the text path you want to hit this red square or squarish thing and it selects your text so you get these uh, dotted lines around your text and you know it's selected and then use gradient tool and pick gradient of the same colors uh, you can't use the bucket tool I wish you could but this is just almost just as easy so just pick two whites or two blacks or whatever color you're using and stroke that gradient like I just did select and then go to select and then none and uh, that looks pretty good not as good as my other one but yeah you can uh... See, it's got supernova supernova and the whole swirl thing and the gimp 2.6 text over there you can also do a um, uh... what's it called gradient that's it uh... a gradient around the edges like i did on my other one uh... i think i like that better but uh... yeah just Okay guys, sorry about this, but uh, I figured that I might as well add this since it makes it look better. Uh, this is what we had. This, uh, hold on. We've got this spot, this uh, swirl. And to make it look even cooler, just do your gradient. Do your gradient on the radial. Do the uh, uh, mode on overlay and the opacity I don't think it really matters I'm not sure um uh yeah and you want to stroke a gradient of like the same color as your swirl to the outside edge like this so I think that looks a little bit better because the uh the beams coming off supernova are red and I think that just looks a little better uh but whatever, it's up to you guys, so, yeah, hope it helped. So just thumbs up this video, and comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, and, uh, yeah.